Hello and welcome back to Ganesh Institute channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about linear combination of vectors. So how the vectors which are given to us can be shown as linearly dependent. And if they are linearly dependent, then how we can show their combination. Let's have an example. Here, the question is given to you that are the vectors x1, x2, x3 linearly dependent? If so, then we have to express them as a linear combination. So first of all, you need to understand what do you mean by linearly dependent variables or vectors. Let's say you have some vectors x1, x2 up to xn. These are only said to be linearly dependent if and only if there exists some numbers like lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda n and these values, these all of them should not be 0. Okay, then we can write their combination as lambda 1 x1, lambda 2 x2 and so on equals 0. This will be their linear combination. Okay, so let's see with the help of this example. So what we have got is x1 is this. So lambda 1 x1, right? So lambda 1 x1 is 1, 3, 4, 2 plus lambda 2 x2. Let me write this. Lambda 2 x2 plus lambda 3 x3 should be 0. And we have to find out the values of lambdas. And if they are not zeros, then we can say, yes, this is a linearly dependent uh, vector. This, These are the linearly dependent vectors. Okay. So lambda 2 x2 is what? 3 comma minus 5, 2 and 2. Plus lambda 3 x3, what is it? 2 minus 1, 3, 2 equals 0, right? So if you take lambda 1 plus 3 lambda 2 plus 2 lambda 3 all together and then 3 lambda 1 minus 5 lambda 2 minus lambda 3 is equals to 0 and then what would be the other one 4 lambda 1 plus 2 lambda 2 plus 3 lambda 3 equals 0 and fourth equation would be 2 lambda 1 2 lambda 2 and 2 lambda 3 right so if you solve these what you will get is let's say we multiply these uh, with 2 so 2 lambda 1 plus 3 to the 6 lambda 2 plus 2 to the 4 lambda 3 right and you did up 6 minus 2 is 4 and here you have got 2 lambda 3 so this way lambda 2 2 lambda 2 becomes equal to lambda 3 correct so lambda 3 is minus 2 lambda 2 similarly if you put this value here so 4 lambda 1 plus 2 lambda 2 plus 3 lambda 3 is what minus 2 lambda 2 equals 0 so 4 lambda 1 plus 2 lambda 2 minus 6 lambda 2 is 0 6 minus 2 is 4 lambda 2 that means lambda 1 lambda 1 is equals to lambda 2 right so if we write all these equations together this one and this one so lambda 1 which is equals to lambda 2 which is equals to if we find out the value of um, lambda 2 here it will be lambda 3 by minus 2 right so lambda 3 by minus 2 right so these values can be 1 1 minus 2 for lambda 1 lambda 2 and lambda 3 right so that means these are non zeros values so yes these vectors are linearly dependent now we have to write out uh, write down their combinations like linear combinations so just put these values in any of these equation and you will get in fact uh, we have to mark it here so what it would be lambda 1 x1 what is lambda 1 1 this is your lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 right so 1 x1 plus lambda 2 which is 1 again x2 and then lambda 3 is minus 2 x3 and this will be your linear combination hope you have understood this topic and if so then don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel till my next video take care of yourself bye bye